When looking back at all the great DMV pioneers, it's impossible not to feature Source Direct and the groundbreaking work they did in the mid to late 1990s. Phil Astler and Jim Baker are the two parts that make up this legendary duo that has brought us so many classic tracks over the years. By the time they were just 19, they had already released over 25 singles and remixes under Source Direct, one of their other aliases such as Hukasai Music, Sounds of Life, Oblivion or X-Files. As they came up in the early days of computers, they utilised a lot of hardware in their setup with a particular focus on classic samplers such as the Roland S750, the Akai S3000XL and they had an Emu4 as well which was their favourite of the bunch. The E4 is a big machine, the Beats machine, the Heinous drum machine, it's tight in its quality and its clarity is spot on. One particularly interesting technique they actually mentioned using in uh, this article here, this is a Future Music Magazine article and I actually bought this to do a bit of research because it's one of the only things I could find um, from back then with Source Direct talking about their ten techniques. But anyway, they talk about the way they would use the emu to do the bulk of the processing and they would use the filters in the emu and so they would kind of get the brakes ready to go and ready to be programmed and then they would actually import them into the Akai because they believed the Akai had tighter MIDI timing than the Emu did. So what we do is put our beats on here and then sample them across the S3000 already proved, split, pre-stretched and filtered. Put them on there and play without any effects and just use it for its tightness. The pair were also close friends with Rupert Parks aka Fotec and we can clearly hear a lot of similarities in their styles. I think this is especially true in their track Stone Killer, which features ninja level break chopping very similar to Fotec's Ni Ten Ichi Ryu. As we start to delve deeper into their collection, we see Source Direct go from dark, hard-hitting dancehall destroyers like the Crane, which according to Jim, uh, when it first got dropped by Doc Scott at the Kentish Town Forum, it got four reloads and the crowd went completely bananas. Listen! You're gonna hear some exclusive material never hear before! To smoother, atmospheric rollers like Complexities, which was released on LTJ Bookham's record label Good Looking Records in 1996. They even got a small feature in the movie Blade, which is an action-packed cult classic featuring uh, Wesley Snipes roaming around for an hour and a half chopping the shit out of vampires. I'm getting a little tired of chopping my second planning. You're wasting your time. It's a dead language. 
The ancient text can never be translated. You wouldn't even understand them. Daddy Frost! I'm talking to you! Shh! Keep your voice down, Gitano. All of this early success eventually piqued Virgin Records' interest, who signed them over to their sub-label Science for the release of their debut album Exercise the Demons in 1999. It was actually this deal with Virgin that seemed to be their undoing and as the pressure mounted their relationship began to struggle. The duo sadly split in 1999 and went their separate ways. Both are still somewhat involved in the music industry with Phil running a tech house label called Vampire Records and I think Jim had a track out on Tempo Recordings in 2021. Now I could dig a little deeper here into the reasons for their split but I'm only really speculating from reading a few articles online and it seems a bit pointless for me to rehash the whole thing. I think either way they have released some incredible music under Source Direct and they were both pioneers of the genre so they deserve a huge amount of respect for what they've done for Drum and Bass and Jungle. One of their tunes in particular I have always loved and it's this track called Secret Liaison and it's just a beautiful amen rolling banger and so I thought it would be the perfect tune to break down on this channel. Okay Wicked, so that's the end of the first part in this Source Direct breakdown and in the next part I'm going to be starting to get into drum break processing and then we're going to do drum programming and then synths and bass and I've probably got three or four more tutorials to come in this series so I'm really stoked to bring you the rest of it and yeah happy Easter to you all, I will catch you soon back on this channel, peace.